Alrighty, guys, back with another August early review. So, yeah, remember about two weeks ago, I told you guys about these cups? Last week, they had the Outsiders. Two weeks ago, they had Undertaker and Kane. This week, they had Heart Foundation, Jim, the Ivil Nightheart, and Brett, the Hitman Heart. This is the one I really wanted the most. And yes, you can put any drink in here that's your favorite soda, like Pepsi, Starry, Mountain Dew, water, I think tea, I don't think they pour, I think they give you tea in a jug, I don't remember, well, technically they do, because <coughs> I haven't had Bojangles in a long time, since like August, around of a year ago, so yeah, this Review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And yes, I did. I got the cup yesterday. But again, like, comment, subscribe. So I know I did an unboxing video yesterday. And I bought this on eBay like three days ago for August's unboxing. And look at the bag. It's a shiny lava pink. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, uh, it's a Nintendo DS game. It's actually one of the Bleach games. You know, the one that's based on the anime that's celebrating 20 years. Uh, this game released in Japan back in 2006. And re released in 2007 on October 9th of that year. So let's go ahead and open it up and see which game we got in 3, 2, 1. Let's look at the bag first. I don't know why, but <laughs> normally I don't really review bags unless they're like Happy Meal boxes. But this is a pretty color. I, I want to keep this. So yeah, let's check out the game and see which game we got in 3, 2, 1. So this is the one I was talking about. Uh, so it's called Bleach the Blade of Fate. Uh, this released a year in America on October 7th, 2000, no, 9th, 2007. This game was released in Japan on the 26th of January of 2006. So yeah, this unboxing plus review is going to get 100 out of 100. And yes, this is my first time owning an anime game on the DS. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Alrighty, guys, I am back with another eBay unboxing, this time for August. So, yeah, um, can't wait to show you guys what it is. Bought this a couple days ago, and it's supposed to be an unboxing, but no. Uh, the seller that was selling the toy and the packaging kept declining the offer, like, four times. No, three times, actually. And here is this one. Um, it's not a WWE Rumblers Rampage. Uh, but yes, I have made a few videos, like three unboxings about this toy franchise. So here is one. I did not get the other one. And this one, it is Ray Mysterio. So yeah, let's go ahead and get them out the bag. And three, two, one. Okay, guys. So I figured it was not facing the other way. So it was facing this way. I know y'all can barely see that. So here we go. Here is this little rumbler, rumbler I bought. Uh, I think it's the Rey Mysterio that was in a two-pack with Jack Swagger. So yeah, this unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, I am back with another unboxing video. Yes, I bought this Friday last week because if y'all didn't not saw the other thing 
I was talking about, it was this. Because I was up all night, I was tired, and... Yeah, uh, it's really sunny out here, so here we go. Can't wait to show you guys what it is. I don't know if y'all can see this, but it is the Kid Robot Wednesday Funny Plush. This is from Netflix. Uh, the This is actually the Jenna Ortega version. This is what I bought, like, Friday of last week for this month's unboxing. I got one more unboxing to do, and then finally done with, um... August is unboxing to go with September's. So let's take the tags off and see what she looks like without the tags on. In three, two, one. I didn't pause it. Okay, we took the tags off. And yes, I haven't done a Kid Robot Funny Plush unboxing since... September over a year ago and this unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred like comment subscribe Hey guys, I am back with another video unboxing this time. It's gonna be a bleacher creature unboxing. Yes I bought this a week ago and I was opposed, I was originally supposed to unbox this last month, but never did. So, here it is. I know y'all can barely see that, but it is the blue John Cena attire. So, let's get him out of the bag and see what he looks like out of the bag. Here he is out of the bag. And, yes, the last time I unboxed the a John Cena Bleacher Creature, the 10-inch one, was way back in September of last year. This is based on his September 1st, 2023 attire on SmackDown. And yes, after the video, I'm going to cut this part off. So stay tuned after that. And let's take the tags off and see what it look, looks like without the tags on in 3, 2, 1. <sighs> Come on. Pause. Here's the tag. And this unboxing plus review is going to get 100 out of 100. Like, comment, subscribe. 